Hi, I am Stephanie. Um, this is my very first attempt at a YouTube tutorial, um, so I hope you bear with me. Um, today I am showing you how to make a tulip wreath uh, using a grapevine base. So what I did is I purchased a grapevine from Michael's. It's 18 inches. And then I got, let me see here, I got bunches of tulips. Um, these are also from Michael's. They are $3.99 normally. Um, they are on sale right now for $1.99, um, so 50% off. These particular ones can usually be found on the end caps of the, um, the aisles, so... <clears throat> What I like to do is, I don't have the thing right now, um, I push the greenery up, because it's usually further down, I push it up and then I snip it with my wire cutters. And then with my grapevine, I get the little sticks, I don't know if you can see that, like the little, the little sticks and things that are kind of sticking out, poking out, because you don't want it to like snag your, your sweater, or your shirt. Um, so I've had that happen. So I just go ahead and clip off what I need to. And I think that's pretty good. I think I got most of it. Oh, wait. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I think I already got most of it. So I'm going to come over here. Let's see. This one here and this one. Now this um, grapevine base I did purchase from Michaels, as I've told you. Um, actually, I'm, I was very impressed by the uh, the bases. Um, normally, I get them from Hobby Lobby, and I wasn't really impressed. I'm not really too impressed because usually they have like a lot of like the um, the dried leaves, and it just it just makes a mess. Um, these ones were actually fairly clean. Um, also, sometimes you can find grapevines and they're misshapen. Like they might be like kind of like flat on one side and rounded on the other. And I mean, you're trying to make a wreath. So, <laughs> I mean, unless that's the look you're going for, you go like for arch, go ahead. But anyway, um, so I was very, I was very impressed by um, Michael's selection this time. They have a very nice selection, at least at my store. Okay. So now let me try to move the camera down. Sorry. There we go. Is that good? Can you see? There we go. So I already cut up my bunches of tulips. I'm using the there's a mix of the yellow with the like the creamy and white. And then I did get the the white tulips. I did purchase 13 bunches of each. I don't know if I'll use them all, but I did do that. Um, and then I already I already cut them up, most of them, I, just in case I need to return. I didn't want to, in case I needed to return, I didn't want to, uh, where's that one? It doesn't matter. I didn't want to cut them all up, but I'm not going to use them. Um, they have a bunch of colors, actually. Um, here, let me get started before I go on to that. So basically, all you do, super simple, take your the tip of your flowers and just put a little bit of glue. Be careful because the glue is hot. I use Gorilla Glue. And stick it in there. I start in the center. of the wreath and then I go on the outside and since I'm only using the two colors you can just put them in there no rhyme or reason can hear you um, you don't have to do it like in a certain pattern because there's only two colors they will eventually 
hit each other, like the white will touch the white and the yellow will touch the yellow, so. <clears throat> I just start going around. That one might need a little bit more glue. Just a little. There we go. Okay. Um, anyways, as I was trying to say before, um, they have a bunch of different colors to choose from. You can Straight after. There we go. Good. Okay. I hope so. Um, I mean, they had the yellows. I accidentally, actually, I um, I knew I would need more. I only bought ten of each color, and I knew I would need um, a few more, a couple more at least. So I ended up with thirteen while I went back to the store, and I didn't realize that I did the. The yellow, the diff a couple shades of yellow with the kind of creamy color almost. So I did get just the all yellow ones, but that's fine because they can be mixed in and it's not gonna hurt anything. I don't think anybody will really know. Okay. Okay, so let me, I'm going to fast forward this and go around and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all the inside done. I just figured I'd do a little time lapse because that's no fun to, to watch all that. Um, now I am going to do the outside. And as you can see, I went in a um, clockwise uh, circle. So I'm going to keep going clockwise. Okay. Because yeah, you guys wouldn't want to sit here and watch. It does take a little bit of time to, you know, put all these flowers in. There we go. Oops. Let's see. Let's come here. You. Sometimes you just got to put a little extra glue to hold it in there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I use Gorilla Glue. I think that's the best. I think it helps. It holds very nicely. Um, I, when I first started out making wreaths, I did use other glue, but I found that Gorilla Glue does hold the best. And you can purchase the Gorilla Glue from, can you hear you? You can purchase it from Walmart, um, even Amazon. I know my Walmarts don't really carry them all the time. Oh, Meyer sometimes too, um, if you have Meyer around you. I don't know if that's just a Michigan thing or not, but um, but Meyer does carry. Oops, careful, I burned myself many a times on this glue. Um, Meyer does carry um, some sometimes. Um, I do, like I said, I do purchase um, on Amazon a lot too. So. You know, it might be a little bit more money, and I should try that one day. Um, they have, Amazon has those lifelike, realistic um, tulips. I actually bought some from Kirkland's last year. Um, but I've never made them on a wreath. I think that would be really pretty. I should try that. Like I said, it might be a little bit more money because, oops, they are better quality than these, but they would be beautiful. 
Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this, do a time lapse for, for you so you don't have to watch me go all the way around again. Now that both the inside and outside are complete, I am going to start on the inside. Once again, I'm just going to go clockwise. Um, just take your flowers, super, super easy. Um, just take your flowers and overlap them. Um, stick them, put the glue on there, stick them in there. I'm probably going to the flowers are facing clockwise, but I think I'm going to go backwards this time because I think it will be easier because there's just going to be a bunch of flowers and with everything, everything is going to kind of like be in the way almost. Okay. So just kind of go. As I said before, there's really no rhyme or reason. You just, you don't have to do a specific pattern. Um, just kind of put them in there. See, so there's one right there. Let's see, right there. see, so the one kind of almost row, if you will. It's not even a row because I kind of staggered them a little bit. Not on purpose, it just happened that way. <laughs> um, and you just keep going. So. Now see, I'm gonna go backwards now with the with the layering. I think it will be a little easier so I don't have to lift up all these flowers to find a spot. And two, you can layer them, you know, how you want. Um, if you want a more fuller, all this little glue strings they look like cobwebs <laughs> um if you um you know if you want it fuller obviously put the put them closer ugh, glue string um put them closer together and sometimes you know there's like little empty scooch on back scooch on back there we go Sometimes there's little empty spaces, so you might want to add a little bit more glue to hit the um, the floral stem and the twig of the grapevine, so it will um, adhere. Because sometimes that it might not catch if it's too uh, too bare. Okay. Yeah, like see, like sometimes little bit bare. It's, it seems it feels a little loose. So just add a little bit more, a little, a little dab of glue. Can't say words today, apparently. I thought the yellow would be a nice, pretty spring, summer color, yellow and white. My mom's favorite color is yellow. I will probably give her this wreath. Probably. Okay. There we go. Looks like a little bear right there. I think I'm gonna add another, I'll add white. little bear in there. Come here, where are you? There we go. Come here. Okay. Let's take it further down. There we go. Yeah. See? Okay, now it's 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 coming together. It's starting to get nice and fluffy. I 
I'll do a few more and then I will do a time lapse again for you. This is super easy. All it is is cut and glue, cut and glue. And stick them in there. I'll do the yellow, yellow one. See, look, all these little strings. I don't know if you can see them on the video. I'm going to make cobwebs and drive me crazy. Okay. Come on. Okay. Where did I put that? Right here. Um, so, yeah, many colors. Any combination you want. You could even use a smaller base if you like. Um, I have done it another way. I'm sure there's 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 more than this way. And I used a styrofoam base once before. Um, you can you know different sizes if you want. If you don't want a big wreath, or if you want, they do have more oval grapevines if you prefer to do an oval um, or smaller. So looking really pretty. I did one yesterday in purple, uh, the dark purple and the lavender and it came out so beautiful. And that was going to be my, my tutorial actually. However, I wasn't thinking, no, no, I, I wasn't thinking, but in order to put it on YouTube, it has to be long ways. And I did not do it that way. <clears throat> So a lot of my stuff was cut off. So I figured, well, I guess I have to do this again, which is no big deal because I enjoy this. Come here, get out of there. Um. I would love it if you commented or liked my video. I really, truly appreciate it. Nice, please. Nice comments. Don't be mean. There's no reason for that. Um, let me know if you're going to try this, if you have tried it, if you have other ways to do this, because that would be fun. Um, like I said, I had used the styrofoam base before, so... Um, or even if you'd like to see another, another, a wreath, wreath style, another type, um, whether it's flowers or, um, a mesh wreath. And I will do my best to accommodate you. All right, so I'm going to fast forward the rest of this and I will be back. Just a little bit more to do right there. I figured I'd 
let you join me back here. Um, and then once I'm done with this, what I'm going to do, I'll show you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and see like if there are any kind of, well, how I, if I feel they're like bare spots and just add a few more because that does happen. Like over here, I'll just do that right now since I see the spot. Add a little right in there. Actually, that one might not stick. I don't know if it latched on anything, so just a little dab of glue. Okay, finish this up here. <clears throat> Sorry. Almost done. And you can add a bow to this if you would like to. I like it to be, what is the word? Organic, I guess. Oh, natural. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess, I guess organic would be the word that, come here. Organic would be the word that I'm looking for. But yeah, you can, um, where are you not going? There we go. Um, it's all, you know, your own preference, how you, how you like them. I think it's pretty on its own. And I've also, I've never used the larger tulips. I like the little mini ones. But, um, let's see. Okay. I think that's good. I think I'm gonna add a white one right here. Um, but I have done full flower floral wreaths like this um, with peonies because I love peonies. And I've also, come on, fluff up. Okay, so see, I'm just gonna get the glue strings off here um, and then kind of fluff it up and Look for any miss right there actually on the side. Look for any missing spots. Um, and hydrangeas. I've used hydrangeas as well. Because I love, love, love hydrangeas. I just think they're just like they're little puff balls or big puff balls. Um, I just think they're so fun. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? There we go. And then a little dab of glue. Hold them in there. Okay. Um, so, yeah. You know, I think it's, I think it's better with more of the, uh, the fluffy, so to speak, flowers. There. That's pretty. So, I see one there. Let's do a white one. I'll leave a few more of these. And then I do have a couple more. Hopefully I won't have to open those but, or clip those. But where did that space go? Where did it go? So not, this is not it, but I do see it. Is this it right here? Yeah. That. There we go. Kind of get in there. There. Think that oops. I should 
look before I leave. And then this is, yeah, that's a ball out of the multi yellow, if you will. super super easy tutorial and pretty much anybody could do this just like I said be careful with the the hot glue I've burned myself numerous times on glue going around getting my little glue strings okay I will fix the camera so you can see go okay let's see here hello people okay there let's back up here look how pretty that is isn't it so beautiful so nice and bright i like it okay now let me actually let me show you the purple one i did yesterday I messed up on the video. This is the purple one. See, it has the, like the lavender and the fuchsia. Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. So I have two big, beautiful tulip wreaths. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope maybe I helped you learn something. Um, and as I said before, please let me know in the comments if you, if there's something that you would like to, like me to try to teach you. Um, I, I've made many, 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 many wreaths. Um, and I would love to try to accommodate you and help you, help you learn something new. So... I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope to have you back here. So take care. See you later.